Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there you can see AD giving you a little bit of a wave. Well, I hope so anyway. Well, <laughs> right, let's move on, shall we? So, I'm going to go out and about because I want to show you something. Now, do you remember? Do you remember? Oh, look, let me show you something now. Hopefully, you were all tuned in this time last week and the week before, and you may be. Uh, Wondering what the uh, painting looked like uh, that we did for the last couple of weeks. Well, shock horror, here it is, guys. Check this out. I'm going to be as still as I possibly can. Wowzers, my trousers. Check that out. How amazing is that? And I'm not sure what this is going to look like, but I can assure you, we've laid, we've laid this gigantic thing on the floor for you to have a look at. We did have it hanging up most of the day in the sunlight and i have to tell you oh wow this just looks amazing i mean i've run out of superlatives to describe it let's have one final look from this side you can see how the lights bouncing off it over there look how the gold literally lights up like a christmas tree and there we go let's give it a little bit of a bend over now and have a little look at some of those amazing shapes Guys, we had, didn't we have such a good time doing this one? Yes, spread over two weeks. Absolutely love it. But there we go. And uh, I think Ian Holmes gets the, um, the the prize of the day for naming it. I think this has got to be something. Uh, what did you say? Flame front, I think you said, didn't you, Ian? Yes, there we go. One last look at that before we race into the pod and begin with Splash Week. Yes, my friends, we're going to roll to some VT now. And I'll whiz inside the pod in 30 seconds, get my mask on. See you there. Oh, I said, right, there's me talking, I haven't even got my mask on. Right, I'm just going to get this on, hang on a second. Puffing and puffing. Actually make sure that it works. Get my earpiece in, so I can hear his Lord and Master outside. I'll just say, yeah, so you can hear me, whoops. Tighten up for my top straps. There we go. We don't, we don't mean to come strapless, do we? Halfway through the broadcast. Right. So I'm just going to double check that my microphone's in the right position. So I'm going to do a quick comms check. AD, can you hear me okay? Right. Fantastic. Everybody, can we hear me? Fantastic. Of course, unfortunately for you, of course you can. <laughs> right. Let's cue some music. Okay. Fantastic. And I'm going to stick my ear defenders on because any minute now. It's going to get very, very noisy in here. So, we've done a technical check. We've looked at the painting outside. We've got the mask on. Always a good sign. So, I think we're about ready to begin. Good evening, everybody. Hope you're doing well in these crazy times wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining us once more uh, into Suarez HQ. We're just going to do a little adjustment. Is, oh, AD says my flaps are wobbling. There you go. There's the sentence of the evening, isn't it? Didn't think I'd be saying that at nine o'clock this morning. Right, I'll do my best not to breathe inappropriately. How's that? Okay. <laughs> Aid is going to come on the mic and explain what it is. So. Uh... Hi guys. Um, obviously, you guys that are uh, regulars here know what it is that's happening with Ed's uh, microphone. It's the the exhale flap on his uh, mask that uh, it, it sort of it flaps back and forth and it creates that. <laughs> You know, a little bit like Chewbacca. <laughs> you know, so um, that's that's all that is, and you you will hear that because obviously he has to have the breathing apparatus on, and we have to have the mic exterior just underneath on his little uh, black tongue, so to say. But yeah, that's the noise you can hear. So I thought I'd just explain if anybody wants to know why it is that you hear that strange noise. Okay, brilliantly explained by Andy there, guys. So yes, I'll try my best just to. <laughs> 
to try and keep it up, but you not not drop my voice so that my my membranes start to resonate. Okay, we don't want resonating membranes, do we? Oh Lord, no! Right, good evening, YouTube. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to another uh, broadcast live streaming across the entire globe. Good evening, everyone. If you're watching on Facebook, how very nice of you to join us this evening. It's great to see you here. We're going to be doing some shout outs and uh, we'll do that in just a few moments because we really want to get started this evening. But first, well, let's whiz around the cameras. We already know where we are on Corner Cam. Good evening. We're all working and functioning properly. Next one. Get out of my hat. Look, here we go. Look. Don't say that if this is not in the name of entertainment. Hello, overhead cam. I've been doing my sit ups today. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're here, there we go. Oh, hello. PTZ Zoom has changed the angle of it this evening. Look, so there's, there's me, uh, me relaxed Michael Jackson thriller album cover pose. <laughs> okay, Mark. Say what? Say what? And finally, uh, we've got Chess Cam! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Yay! Uh, now, of course, we all know that Chess Cam works because you've just seen how amazing that painting is outside. Marvellous, awesome, can't wait to get going. I am so excited. I should be in a coma because all AD and I have done is literally work, work, work for what seems like the last 600 hours without any sleep. But we don't care. That's what coffee's invented for. We love it because we love you guys. Right, okay. Quick shout out before we get going. Then I'm going to explain exactly what we're going to do tonight. It is Splash Week. There's going to be lots of mess. There's going to be pressure. There's going to be stress. There's going to be excitement and pantomime. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you got a hot or cold drink. This is going to be exceptional. Right, let's head straight over to Facebook. Alex Archer is here. <laughs> They're watching on the TV. Big TV. Fantastic. Good to see you guys. We've got Anita and Pauline and Celeste and Sherry and Joseph and Trina and Jackie Johnson is here. Good evening. Navita and Natalie and yes, they're also here on Facebook. Fantastic guys. Thank you so much. Who have we got from the top? We've got Funny Fox. We've got Ian Holmes, Tyler. Tyler's come back. Hi, how you doing? Cameron and Richard and Rasmuth. Um, now, what does that say? The Visky 13 new name. Hi, good evening to you. Uh, did I say Richard Wills? Great, I'm glad he's got the coffee. <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. And uh, yes, Funny Fox, two canvases and splashing your kind of evening. I know that. Ian Holmes, fantastic, uh, is also joined us. Nelson, Sherry, Artfish, Third Eye Open. Um, and we've got Diana West. Oh, everybody's in the house. This is going jolly well. Right then, my friends, fantastic. So, are we ready to, to walk and talk through what we're going to do this evening? Of course we are. Right, dude, if we can go into chess cam for a second. Okay, shitting. Right, so Cheska, we've got a real nice lineup of paint this evening. Now, inspired by a painting which you, I don't, you may have seen on social media. Okay, um, which was kind of, I don't know what you call it. It was sort of like exploding black star, um, beautiful thing with like whatever you call that going on. But anyway, it's got sauce. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm not explaining that very well. We're going to do it. What have we got? We've got, we got a little bit of black going on. We're going to have two real rich blues plus a light blue. We're going to bang some silver in there, which is fantastic. We've got three individual colours of purple. Plus, if you're all good and behaving yourselves, we'll have a go with that purple at the end, which is a gorgeous new one that I've got. How do you open the tin look? And we might stick a little bit of white on there. And if you're all lucky, we might get a little bit of lime. And you never know. We might, oh yes, go in with the special sauce, but only if you're really good and behaving yourselves. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys, so that is what we are going to do. Remember, if you, I've got to put my gloves on, got to keep myself safe. Oh yes. Uh, oh, Paul's just joined us on Facebook. Good evening, Paul. And Bucky's here. All right, mate. Um, right, who else has just joined us? Nancy Stone is here. Katie Herring. Hi. Zach has also joined us. And Lucy Blake, fantastic. Oh, we're, we're going to have a fun night. Remember, if you're new here, guys, please do give us a subscribe. Helps keeps the channel going. Really, really important. Then you don't have to worry about where, or wherever you are, whatever you're doing. You'll get a notification. Click on the bell icon. And every time we're live, you're going to know about it. You never miss a thing. So make sure you give us a subscribe, OK? And also remember that uh, for the benefit of our Patreons, patrons, you can also get exclusive offers 
and uh, deals and your beautiful Suarez swanky calendars, which will be coming out to all our patrons uh, later in the year. And uh, if you want to have a look at that, head over to patreon.com forward slash Suarez Art. Can't miss it. It's fantastic. Great stuff. Right. Are we ready to get going? Right. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you like what you see, remember a little bit later on, this is going fantastic. Yeah, you guys, you guys rock. Let's give some thumbs up, all right? Fantastic. Right, are we ready to get started? Can I hear an amen? Let's get going. <laughs> the extractor is going on. And if my voice goes, it's because everything seems to fail, audio-wise, when the extractor goes on. So, if I, um, if, if I suddenly stop, you'll know exactly why, and I'll be back as soon as AD can uh, plug me back in again. Right, let's get some cans of paint open. Three, two, one. One, two, three. I'm back in the room. Hurrah, the technology works. Fantastic. <laughs> now, Catherine's joined us. Uh, who else? Bob Zem. Howdy, y'all. Good to see you. Right, I'm glad everybody's looking forward to this. I'm pumped and I'm hyper and I'm ready to go. Are we ready? No, of course we are. Right, so we're going to do two this evening. Oh, yes, not one, but two. Okay, so I've got a complete plan in my head about what it is I'm going to do. Right then, let's pick one, shall we? Um, okay, let's pick the one closest to the camera, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to use a technique of this evening where I'm going to basically take um, sort of dark going into light, okay? That's what I'm going to kind of try and do. So we're going to apply the paint in these kind of sort of oblong square patterns and I'm going to just build them into each other. We popped a video out uh, about uh, sort of a couple of weeks ago uh, of doing that where AD spied on me through the hole in the corner and took some really nice footage on another new camera that we bought. Um, so that's on uh, social media, go and have a little look if you want. But for now, we're going to get some of this on, okay? So I'm going to do this a little, where I'd normally do a complete sort of 360 all the way around with this, I'm going to lump this into one corner, not just because I don't have a lot of it, all will make sense, all right? So, I'm also going to do this with a drop of black. Not a lot of black, not a lot of black, just a little. This is a black from a different uh, batch of different suppliers. It's going to have some slightly different properties. But I want to weight this over to one side, and you'll see what I mean as I go around, okay? So on the overhead now, those of you who have seen this before, which I'm pretty sure most of you have by now, so you'll know that I tend to, you know, pour stuff on to start with and then start manipulating it. Okay, fantastic. So, Creative Corner says, why have you got the mask on? Well, I'm very glad you've asked that, he said, as he approaches Corner Cam with Suarez Blue. Yeah, they, so I'll explain very, very quickly in 20 seconds. Great question, by the way. The paints that I use, enamel paints, incredibly bad for your health, very toxic. They react to oxygen in the air. They release two very, very harmful chemicals. So in their uncured state, if I breathe those in, I'm going to get very sick and possibly die over an extended period of time. So the only way to safeguard my health uh, and those in the building is to uh, have a sealed containment pod where I can isolate all of the vapours and most importantly this mask filters out all of those vapours and I don't have to worry because I can't smell anything in here except for clean air. Hope that answers your question. Great question by the way. Thank you so much for answering it. Right, so back on the what's up? Back on the overhead now. I'm going to go in with some Suarez blue. And the Suarez blue, as you know, is a staple of what we do here. It's a unique colour. Doesn't exist anywhere else on the planet. Fantastic, isn't it? I, I love the thought of that. This is the only place it exists. Well, and all the paintings. Now that's coming out beautiful there. So we're going to work this in uh, from uh, dark into light. So now. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Katie, do you think everyone's behaving themselves tonight, dude? Do you think we should open this special purple? What do you think? 
I think we should open the special purple. Do it, come on. Right, should we, should we do it, guys? Should we just do it, eh? Hey? Should we do it? I think we should do it. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday is set tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Right, okay. So if Shia LaBeouf says do it, I think, I think we're actually doing it. Right, so we're going in with the first of the purples. Beautiful purple, this. It's right smack bang in the middle of the purple spectrum. So we've got undertones of mauve and of lilacs. We've got that slight orangey feel, which is a really warm kind of glow to it. There's nothing chocolate bar about it at one end. And there's nothing kind of pink at the other. It's this right smack bang in the middle. Delicious colour purple. So that's what's going on. It's not, you know, it's not one of these that's... Um, it doesn't fit in with anything it's just a, it's just oh it's just gorgeous so i'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to have a couple of seams on this side all right and i'm going to do one controversially on the outside there now because i also want this to go through the center i'm going to feature this back in the center as well but i'm only going to do the one okay the reason for that oh yes there is always a reason for everything is i'm going to add one of the other aforementioned purples but uh, this one is going to be slightly at the more red end of the spectrum. And I'm going to add that one. Let's see if we can get the can open. I'm going to add that on the opposing sides. Mm. So we're going to go one there. And then I'm going to do one on the outside here. Now, you may or may not be wondering, well, hang on a minute, Ed. Why aren't you doing it on the side, on the top and bottom? Ah. Well, when you see, when we spread it out, it's going to spread around the sides. That's the reason why. Well, we need to keep the lid fairly loose on that one, but I'm going to be coming back to that later. Okay, so far, so good. Loving it. Now, now we need to get some of the real bright guns out. So, here we go on the overhead. Look at that. Beautiful colour blue. Let's get that bad boy on. That's, that's the kind of mood I'm feeling in. Let's get this can open. Get it on some canvas, oh yes. We are not messing about tonight. Right, so I'm gonna do my, what I did the L shape, see there, of the dark blue. I'm now gonna do the little L of the light blue, but I'm gonna do it in an opposing direction. Now again, you may or may not see the impact of that when it's all spread out, uh, but at least I know I did it. So uh, I think when you get hints of this on the final composition, um, it'll just be a kind of nice balance, okay? Right, so finally, before we start moving this around, I want one final colour to go in. So we're going on to chest cam now, and I shouldn't really, but I'm going to just because I can. And I'm going to wallop in here, okay, this beautiful Pantone colour. And this is Pantone 231C for the technical amongst you. One of the greatest colour pinks I think I've ever seen in my life. We're still on chest cam, dude. Oh my days, I really hope you're getting that, but in the flesh, this is... Well, excuse <laughs> This me, is something princess. to behold, it really is, so we're just going to give ourselves a little, a little soup son of that. Look, there you go, it's finished already, I can go home now. Can I go home? Taxi for Ed. Okay. No, right, then. you've got to stay in there and keep going. <laughs> oh, he's a hard taskmaster, isn't he? Right, okay, so, uh, let's go in. Uh, so we've got uh, Camilla uh, is enjoying it on Facebook. And uh, Trina says, how did you start using enamel paints? What a good question. Oh, Paul Gardner and Katerina is watching us. Good evening, guys. Yes, what a good eye. Good question. So started using, uh, I, I used to work for um, a welding supplies company um, before I did this. And one of their industrial suppliers uh, decided to uh, give me some paint one day and it was enamel paint. And that's really where it all started. I'm just trying to decide where I'm going to start dragging this. Yes, I'm going to start here, I think. Um, and that was where it started, really. Um, uh, and ever since then, I just loved it. I just absolutely loved it. I did start out. There you, go, you can see it's starting to spread out now. I did start out uh, using acrylics and I tried all kinds. Um, but it really, really is. It's the beauty of these enamels that just, you know, I come back to them every time and I just couldn't be without them. I know it's a pain having to put mask off on and dress and oh my lordy all this kind of thing but my goodness me aren't they just amazing and you get to do this kind of thing with them whenever you want you know so if you can go through the pain barrier 
my goodness me, they are absolutely worth it. Okay, right, so thank you for the question, Victorina. That's a brilliant question. Really appreciate that. Okay, so what are we doing now? So we're just going to go light, uh, sorry, dark into light, and we're just going to get some rough lines pinned out, okay, before we start really doing anything else. And I'm just using a window squeegee, call it what you will, to space some of this out. Now, I'm not worried about what's going to go on in the center, because this is going to get covered up very shortly, and then we're going to do something pretty sturdy in the middle. But these are some really nice colours, so it's really always really good to start with a base coat like this. Okay, so back on the overhead now, you're probably seeing some of those colours starting to develop, which is fantastic. Right, so we're going to move some out to the edges. Let's get this all mixed together. There's going to be some stunning colour combinations coming out with this now. Okay, brilliant. And then we're going to start and uh, start blend some of these things together. Now, it's when we start to bring in things like silver and white, things really start to get interesting. But, as with so many things, the success or failure of any painting normally starts with this phase. So I'm going to drop a little bit more black on there, just to go up this edge. Okay, because we are going from dark to light, so obviously we're going to need a little bit of that going on. And now I'm going to give it a little drop of thinners. Uh, there's nothing special about this, it's just a standard mineral thinners. So I'm going to give that a little spray as we wander around. It's great to work in 360 degrees, by the way. <laughs> so Richard Wills thinks it looks like the start of the TV series The Night Gallery. Well, Richard, I'm going to take your word for that, because I have absolutely no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, dear. Who's seen The Night Gallery, then, apart from Richard? I haven't. Right, uh, maybe I'll go have a look, actually, because I'm intrigued now to know. Right, okay, let's, let's carry on spreading this out. So this is this is good, this is exactly what we want. Right, here we go round the bulbary bush. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, copyright. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so I'm going to try and start to work my way in now. So what we're going to do now, again using the same tool, uh, is just try and sort of spread this around a little bit. I'm not too worried at this stage about how good or bad the blending is. So um, I'm literally just, um, what I mean by that, I don't mean bad, of course, because you know, everything's good. But what I mean is, is in terms of its shapes and the quantities of paint that I'm moving around, not too precious at the moment, because we're going to cover a lot of this up. And particularly one of the, oh wow, one of the most exciting things about this is what happens when the white goes on. I'm telling you, it's going to look utterly exceptional. Okay, so we're going to get this, Oh, so um, Lily from Norway sees a hole in a sorry, hallway. Very good. Lily of Norway, my apologies if I got your name wrong, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, so let's mix that up a bit, look, shall we? Look, there you go, there's a doorway with a bit of blue on it now. <laughs> okay, so let me just quickly explain the role of the thinners here. So I've given it a little, little light spray. Now that's going to continue to work with the paint changing it's drying um, times and also thinning the paint out so it's a little bit easier to move around. So I have to decide when and where I'm going to use the thinning compounds depending on the kind of effects that I'm trying to achieve. That's all it is really. So all I really want to do now is just try and maneuver some paint around and in particular, in particular I'm also thinking about if we can see here this kind of section around here because this is where the paint's going to be mixing it uh, with itself so this kind of blue band here is really really important probably more so than the center okay so i'm just going to whiz a few a few little fronds out from the center so we're going to get now these, these these small little blends almost like a mauve kind of lilac kind of thing can you see that going on lovely so we're just going to tease that out because i want these to be some underlying colors that you're going to see when the painting's finished and they really show up the further out they get the more they show up, as you can see. I love this effect because we're now putting sort of not so light onto dark, and you get this gorgeous contrast. Look at that with that beauty. That's a purple that doesn't even exist. In fact, and we've got a question come up, which I'll answer in just a second. If Amy can pop us on to chest cam just for a moment. Okay, can you see what's happening with these lines here? Let me see if I can get down a tiny bit further. Now look, we've suddenly got here sort of three or four different blended colors 
So when you take from a central location and zip it out, so this is the first of our splashes, okay? Because I said it was splash week. All right, so these are our first almost pseudo splashes, right? There we go, they're looking great. So they're the underpinnings of the outside, which I'm really happy with. Okay, fine, so, so far, Okay, what have we got? So we've built up from dark, going into the light in the centre, but we've still got all that light stuff to come. Brilliant, fantastic. So I'm just going to quickly change my gloves. And then we're going to start with some of the lighter colours. So, you may ask, what exactly is Splash Week? Well, watch and learn, my friends, because I'm going to show you. Right, while I put my gloves on, what have we got? Zachar is watching uh, over on Facebook. Fantastic. Uh, what are we all talking about over on YouTube while I put my other glove on? Far uh, liberal. Hello to everyone. And he likes... Oh, that's Nate. Uh, hello, Nate. There's Nate. Good day. Ah, excellent. Oh, Nate. Yes, of course. Loves the night. Uh, that's, oh, yes, of course. I understand now. Yeah, that's fine. Great stuff, Nate. Hello. Well, you're a new viewer, so good evening. Great to see you. Gustavo. Um... Okay, so, right, what was the question? So the question somebody asked, what, do I use oil or acrylic paint? Was that the question, was it, buddy? Okay, well, I don't use any of that. I use enamel paint, and uh, enamel paint uh, is very toxic. I think we've covered that already. Just in case you don't know, let me just repeat that while I get the white out. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a phenomenal medium to work with, but most unlike uh, any sort of standard paint. At the end of the day, enamel paint is an industrial coating. Um, but we've messed about with it now over up and down the years to such a degree now that it's barely recognisable from its original form. But yeah, so it is enamel paint, my friend. I hope that answers your question. Right then, okay, let's go. So where's my white? White is here. That's what we're going to do next. Let's give it a little shimmy. Right, splash. Our second kind of splash. Here we go. Okay, I am loving it so far. Right, let's get that into there. Now we are going to thin this down a little bit. Okay, so let me try and explain what we're going to do. I'm going to do two things. The first one, so uh, which one, which camera are we on, buddy? Okay, so so while he looks down at that, so check this out, right? So I've got, um, I've got white paint that's just come out of the can. <laughs> that's like watching a magic show, this. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. It's not right there, it's right there. <clears throat> okay. Too many times watching Paul Daniels in the UK, you'll know what I mean. Oh, sugar. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. That's, that's all right. Oh, no. <sighs> can you, you can tell it's live, can't you? There we go. Okay, so I've just dropped, dropped paint on the canvas. <laughs> oh, Lord, what am I going to do now? Oh, Funny Fox! Thank you! Funny Fox has donated £4 and sent us a sticker. Thank you very much, Funny Fox! Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Right, okay, fantastic. So, tell me what we're going to do. Okay, right, so are we ready? Here we go, here we go. This is, this is special. My first... My first proper splash of the night. So I'm telling you what we're going to do. Okay, so you can see on overhead now, we are going to go, because I've obviously got this bit here, which I don't want. So we're going to go from this direction, and we're going to go that way. What we're going to do, we're going to do a radial splash. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, Ed, what? Yes. So there are lots of different ways you can apply paint, especially when it's thinned down. So in fact, because I can, I'm going I'm to thin this a bit further still just to count half of it. Right, so I'm going to do a little radial splash, so let me explain that. So remember how we've got all this liquid paint underneath and it's forming all these gorgeous patterns and it looks metallic and there's high points and low points. I mean, even already, yes, please, sign me up. It looks amazing. So now I'm going to get down on my hands and knees and we're going to do something like a, an arc, but I'm going to twist and I'm going to throw it and I'm going to accentuate my arm and it's a bit like you know, starting a lawnmower or, a, or or something where you need a pull start. Oops, it's just not the camera. So that's what we're going to do. But it's going to be a flick out and a flick at the end. So hopefully we get a small bit going on here and then we get boom. It explodes out the other side. So you ready? Oh, I've got to concentrate now. Cue, cue the millionaire music. Right? 
Here we go, here we go. Right, okay, first one is on. Hurrah! That's not too bad. Now, Yay! <laughs> in case you're thinking, oh, well, that's quite interesting, Ed, we're now going to do the same on the opposite side. And of course, remember with things like this, because of what we've got on prior to this, things are going to start to move. White's going to disappear into other colours, other colours are going to eat it up, and the white's going to do other things and react to it. And we haven't even got to the best bit. The special sauce, which we might have to do. Obviously, we'll take a vote on that. So now, my, uh, I've got to get something done on the other side of this. Okay, so uh, should we have, should we have a go with that? Should we do splash number two? We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do a little bit of a radial splash. I'm going to do it slightly less this time. And then, if we got a chance, well, certainly on the other one, we're going to try a different kind of splash. So I'm going to try and do this where I don't fall over or split myself in half and have a horrid accident. Well, really. Right, okay buddy, are we alright? Which, which camera are we on? Overhead, fantastic. Right, are we ready? We're going to count down. We're going to go three. So in case you missed that, here it comes again. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was just saying, well that worked out well, didn't it? Okay, right, fantastic. So, two really nice splashes there. Now, you may be thinking, okay, that's all very well, Ed, but the white, the white's pretty like, much like overtaken it all now. Yes, of course it has. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back over the top, we're going to get the scraper back out, and we're going to tease some lines and some shapes in here. Now, very tempted to apply some, some paint in the middle, but I'm just going to think about what I'm doing for a moment, just before I completely mess it up. Okay, so from this point, I'm quite tempted to do something in a maybe a gold or a silver. What are we, what are we all thinking there? I'm going to ask Andy outside because he gets a much better view of this than me. Okay, um, let's have a look. We just uh, we're just having a quick look at a couple of things here, guys. So I'm just going to be off radio just for a sec. Just bear with me. We are definitely going to get the silver and the gold out. So uh, let me just sort that out. Yeah. Oh, Daisy's got to go back to work. Oh, Reef Gaming, hi. Okay. Having a look. Okay. Over on Facebook, hey, Anita, Colin, and Dean, and Spin Out Trapeze have all joined us. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Right, okay. I think we're going to go some silver and gold here. So let's get the gold out. Now I've got a brand new tin waiting. Um, right, okay. Let's get the new one out. Let's give that a shake. So even now, look, it's really starting to do some unusual things. So the first splash is starting to kind of delineate a little bit and form into the uh, shapes that are underneath, which is awesome. Now we've got quite, um, quite a form down here. Okay, so Adie's going to zoom in now, just while I get the can off the, the lid off the gold. And then uh, I'm going to try um, a slightly different technique with the gold. In fact, I think I might splash again. Oh, yes. Yes, so we, should we just splash again? I think, I think I'm going to have to thin this down and splash again, you know. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. But I do want to put some form on it right at the very end. Okay, and then we should have time to uh, to pop the other one uh, together and have a little look at that. So we'll grab ourselves another cup. Happy days. Don't want too much in there. There we go. Now then, now then, now then, now then. I'm very, very tempted to pop another a chemical in this that I can't tell you what it is. So I am going to do that, I think. Now, will it mix? Yes, it will. Right, so I'm, I'm going to really go quite controversial now see what we've got. So I can't tell you what this is, guys, but I'm just going to give it a quick mix. So have we zoomed back out? Have we, nobody? We've zoomed back out. Amazing. Amazing. So guys, don't forget, if you're liking this, and you all are because you're telling us, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Okay? 
So hit that thumbs up button right now for us guys all right if you're enjoying this okay thank you very much let's pu push those likes up come on we can do we can all do this can we do it of course we can do it let's just do it just do it just press the button come on Okay, fantastic. Right. So, uh, Joseph, uh, oh, uh, Jamie Jackson's just joined in as well. Uh, Joseph, hi, good evening. Do you ever find it difficult to stretch a, com a completed painting after it's dried? Uh, I never tried to do a painting before. I can't click the see more of your comment because of my. <laughs> I got my gloves on. Um, yeah, they can be quite tricky. I mean, everything's handmade at the end of the day, Joseph. So, every canvas has its own unique um, twists and turns. You know where paint forms on the edges and it gets very thick that could be quite a challenge canvas type is always changing we're always developing paints so it's always a development process but yes yeah, some of them can be quite easy others can become a real challenge and the more paint you have on it the more difficult they are to stretch so i hope that answers your question right here we go with uh, splash number three we're going in with gold oh yes and i'm going to go back over on the white so we're going to do this one first I don't think I've ever spl I splashed gold, I can't remember. Let's have a go. Let's see, see what happens. And um, 3, 2, 1. Right. Interesting. I'm kind of liking that. And I'm going to drizzle, technical term, that last bit in the middle. So that's more of a drop splash than anything. Let's get on. Now the gold's going to probably disappear quite a lot, so I'm not too worried about how dense that looks. And I think we've still got some left over. Have I got... Yes. Excellent. Right, now already, because of what I put in the gold, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, <laughs> this is going to start to do some pretty amazing things. So, we're probably going to come back to that, because I want to just drop a little bit of something else in there. Aidy's just going to talk to me a second, guys. Right, uh, okay, bear with me a sec, guys. Um, okay. Uh, I'm just going to take my gloves off a sec, guys. Just bear with me a sec, okay? We're just going to give that one just a chance to dry. So just get, take your uh, take your time for a second. I just want to have a look at something on the feed. Helen's joined us as well from France. <laughs> France. Okay, we're just going to get going back in just a second, guys. We're just having a, a quick check of something technical. Just please do bear with us for for a moment. David Bowie is watching us. The real one. The real David Bowie yeah. is watching us. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Let's sorry. dance. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. Did you actually broadcast that then? Oh, he's just done his David. See, look, we are the gift that keeps on giving. He's done his David Bowie for you. Fantastic. You don't get that very often. I'm very privileged to get uh, 80s David Bowie. Right, okay, we're just dropping on some silver. Sorry about that, guys. We had a little bit of a technical thing we just had to fix. Uh, but it's great to see everybody, especially if you haven't been here before. Um, some, some very great friends from other social media joining us, which is fantastic. I love it. Right, okay, let's assess what we've done so far. So remember that gold that I put on. Look, look at this. Look what is happening. Oh, wow. Yes, please. Give me some of that. Amazing. Now look how the white starting to mix in with everything underneath. Didn't I tell you that this is what would happen? So you've got the strength of the colours here, and then you've got this gorgeous, almost fractal-like, those sort of tendrils where we splashed earlier on, so this gorgeous movement going on. Look what's happened towards the edges. Oh wow, you know, so that's three splashes down. 
We're probably going to do one more splash, and I'm just going to do something very small in the centre. Um, so very controlled, uh, just to add a little bit of depth in there. Okay, so this is going exceptionally well, and I'm ecstatic about it. Oh wow, this is what we do. This is what I like. Now I've lost the colour that I was going to use. It's in a pot somewhere. We had a little technical thing. Right, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to thin this down just a tiny bit. Where's my thinners? Aidy's going to have a zoom in now. Hopefully you can see what's going on on the corner cam. Looking unbelievable. Just some of my favourite colours as combinations together. Look what we've got. We've got a shiny radiance of the Pantone pink popping out on the right-hand side. Unbelievable. These gorgeous organic forms going through the centre. And of course, now what happens is you get all the tones coming out. So where you've got the solid colour, uh, like one of the deep blues or the purples, when it starts to mix with some of the others, you get all these infinite uh, variety of different tonal variations when they start to mix with each other. And this is what gives the paint such an edge over all these other paints is because of what it does, you know, when it, when it mixes with something else. It's just stunning, honestly. I never, ever, ever get tired of using this paint. No matter how hard it is to work and how oppressive it is to work with it, I just never, ever get bored of it. It's just a constant surprise, it really is. Okay, guys, so we're gonna, we're gonna call time on this one just with one more application, okay? And it's kind of a semi, semi kind of splash. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop a little black in the center. Most of this is gonna disappear. But in, in, interesting, what I need to do is just sort of follow this line here and just break the center up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna try that now. Actually, that's way too much in there, even now. So I just want a real small, you know, little splash out. I think is what I'm going to say. So we're ready. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's fabulous. So exactly what I wanted to do there was not go near the pink. I needed that to stay on its own merit. This is going to diffuse out a little bit now, which is fantastic. But it just gives that kind of starbursty thing going on in the centre. There's just a tiny, tiny drop more uh, there just to go the other way. And I'm just gonna, I'm going to have to pour this on because I don't want it to uh, to mess up some of the things I've got coming on. There we go. On in there. So Lily of Norway's loving her first live stream. Thank you. Which camera are you on, buddy? Lily, thank you. Is it, oh, he's going to unzoom us out now. <laughs> So Lily of Norway, great, thank you so much for watching. Remember to give us a subscribe. Very important, turn on your uh, notifications with the bell icon. Brilliant. Who haven't we said hello to? I think we said hello to Twitch. Uh, Mark uh, Begbie is giving us a... Ooh. Right, so one last thing before we tackle the other one, guys. So we're just going to give us a little spray of special sauce. There we go. The special sauce is a mixture three different chemicals uh, which I'm not going to tell you what's in it you should have tuned in last week when I did tell you what was in it or did we have a I <laughs> did the microphone cut out did it make <laughs> yeah we um, we had a technical gremlin yes definitely that was quite interesting right now look just just look just quickly how much the gold disappeared see this is what happens so let's get some more of that bad boy on look more splash more splash out towards the edges Everything's got to radiate towards the edges. Beautiful, happy days, loving that. Right, are we ready for number two? Do you know what? I'm, fe I'm feeling gold here. I've got. Uh, should we just keep with the same? Let's keep with the colour schemes, yeah. I think we need to go with the gold. So, um, shall we? I think we need to get this one nearer the camera. So I tell you what, this is where it all goes fun, okay? <clears throat> If you haven't paid attention already, make sure you're watching now because I've got to try and move a, a, a painting. So here we go. Let's, let's, let's see if I can move this successfully. Hopefully, Aidy's going to tell me uh, <laughs> where, where it's heading and if it's in the right kind of space. So let's make sure I don't mess things up now. <sighs> right, keep going. Doing a top job there, buddy. <sighs> keep going. Okay. Keep going. Oh, no. Pretty close. A little bit more. Perfect. How's that? Right, okay. Right, jolly good. Now, interestingly, oh, I got up too quick. Hang on a second. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, well, the Lily of Norway. What a great way to describe the painting. I love that. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always amazing how things start out. You know, <clears throat> what you saw with the squares and the quite rigid structure as we started with, now has suddenly become something far more fluid and organic. And that's that's pretty much what I like to do. I mean, I do I love lines. Don't get me wrong. I love lines. Lines are great. Um, you know, but just recently, I seem to have found this very kind of fluid, organic form, which is, you know, I, I, I'm just really enjoying it. And that's the whole thing. I just want to enjoy looking and new things and, you know, finding out what things do. And every time I commit to canvas, it's different every time. So, you know, I just don't think we can second guess that. It's just fabulous. Right, who's up for... Oh, sorry, another question. So Cameron says, I should be an art teacher. Well, bless you so much. Thank you. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure not sure whether I should, but it's very... <laughs> Say what? <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind of you, thank you. I just get tremendously excited, I really do. Um, we had some clients down here on... Oh, yesterday! Yesterday, I don't even know what day I'm on. Yesterday, Tuesday. Um, great couple, so, so pleased we met them. And uh, one of the comments they had was, was, was how sort of passionate and um, driven and uh, um, enthusiastic and we are about what we do and I think the great thing about this is, is when you do finally find something that you really 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 like it's it's easy you know, which is a really bizarre thing to say and I can hear Aidy's voice going oh god outside but in actual fact I, I don't mean easy as in oh god <laughs> I don't mean easy as in like easy you know what I mean I mean it's um it, it, everything is difficult here you know there are, we never have easy days everything is really really hard work but you can't, I can't imagine doing anything else because this is it. This, this is what we do, if that makes sense. Um, it, it's, a, it's a crazy thing, and it's a it, it's such an odd dynamic, and it's so hard trying to explain what you mean. But um, it, the hardest job becomes the easiest job in the world, and vice versa. <laughs> but um, why, why, why do anything else? I mean, come on. Oh, thank you, Lilia. Yeah, that was normal, I guess. And I'll teach you through this channel. That's very kind of you. Okay, um, so what have we got? So, uh, Carolina. Hello, one of our clients is watching us. Evening, guys. Um, yeah, very good to see you. I haven't seen you for a few weeks. I hope you keep it well. It's great to hear from you. <clears throat> uh, right, so what have we got? Uh, Catherine, lots of nice cells popping up. Yes, says Catherine. Okay, brilliant. And uh, Richard, don't paint yourself into a corner. <laughs> Nice one, Richard. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, great. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Right, are we ready? Let's get some... Uh, let's get this going. Okay, run and tell your friends. Here we go. We're going straight in with this gorgeous gold. Okay, now I want to get some of this moved over here first before I start introducing the white. And the very last thing I'm going to do is go into that little... Um, that little soup son of purple. Now we're back in with that gorgeous purple. Remember the tin that we didn't open until the start? Well, that's what I'm featuring in this fantastic colour combination. I mean, this is, you know, I mean, <laughs> white and gold anyway. How regal and classy is that? But at the same time, that introduction to the purple is just going to give it a little bit of an essential warmth. And remember, this is Spin, spin Splash Week. So over the top of whatever goes now, we are going to have some fun in the sort of last 12, 13 minutes of the evening. So let's see what we can do. Remember, guys is just for fun we hope you're enjoying it we're doing it for your for your entertainment and also because we love it so remember to give us a thumbs up give us some likes some hearts if you're on facebook thank you guys for sticking with us and run and tell your friends you know there's going to come a day i absolutely know it when uh when we're going to be very very oversubscribed with a lot of different things but we still want to keep doing this. You know, we've got so many interesting things in the pipeline that we can't really talk about. But my goodness me, when I tell you that, you know, things are moving very, very quickly here at Suarez HQ, it is certainly no understatement. So remember, you were one of the first ones. You saw it here first. Okay. So if you want other people to experience that and catch us doing what we do best, then run and tell everybody. Post your links out. Share the tweets, share the love, give us a follow on social media. Every bit counts, guys. So thank you for your support, as always. Always really appreciate it. But it's very important. You know, this is how we uh, we, we get more of what we're doing to the outside world. You know, the whole world needs to know about this. It's 
far as art is, is where it's at in my book and I ain't, we ain't stopping until everybody knows about that. Okay. Now, the sooner we get there, the sooner you can all come onto my into my Malibu beachfront uh, house and have a week off work, how's that? <laughs> That's it. Right, okay, let's have a look. So, I'm going to give this a little down, down through thin as now, so a little bit of splashing, a bit of a cheat. All right, but I just need to move it around a little bit. Oh, that's quite interesting now, isn't it? Yes, right, let's get that moving around. Okay, it's enough talking from me now. Let's have the action. So, let's get the gold moving in. Look at that. So, this is a different kind of splash now. Look, so I'm not doing it from a cup. We've done the cup base splashes. So, now we're going on to the thinnest base one. So, I'm doing this. Look, way. So, this is scraper based splashes there we go oh look at that it's like a frozen winter wonderland of awesomeness so i'm just going to move this around in a sort of gentle kind of ocean current kind of way that's the weirdest ocean current i've ever seen okay let's get that round and around we go beautiful a tiny bit of purple's giving us that nice bit of warmth a nice bit of color we're just doing this with one tool one tool only and i don't think the one that's painting it Oh, Artfish42 just donated 10 bucks. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Artfish42. And also thank you to Funny Fox for both of you donating this evening. That's very, very kind of you and very, very much appreciated. Okay, brilliant. So we're just still moving this around now just to give ourselves a little bit of a sense of movement. Okay, so who wants to name a colour? All right, guys, this is your opportunity. So we're going to pick a random colour, and we're going to introduce that, and we're going to splash it over the top. I'll give you a hint, it's got to be the right one. <laughs> okay, so come on, who's going to, who's going to nominate a colour? All right, so here we go, while you're nominating the colours, I'm going to move this around. Here we go, we're still splashing, we're still splashing, we've still got the gorgeous gold going on. I'm just spreading this out. We're going, we're going radial. Yeah, I haven't planned this, but let's just do it. Let's, let's go. Circles are great, aren't they? Let's just get it in. Okay, there we go. Move it around, move it around. What suggestions, buddy, have we got coming in? Right, Lily wants her teal again. Oh, she likes her teal. <laughs> I'm going to get some more gold on, by the way. Ian wants purple. Teal with a big heart, says Lily. <laughs> oh, it does feel kind of like Lily's night, doesn't it, mate? Right, let's just move that a little bit. Oh. Right, i oh, gone. I can't hear anything. Oh, got your back. Sorry, baby. Say that again. Right, so we've got bright red and pink going on here, have we? Right, so we've got green and we've got orange on Facebook. Okay, as far as blue, pink, red, oh, no. How on earth do I choose from that little box? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. We've definitely got to go with the teal, I think. Um, there's night silver, yes, yeah, got silver, but I think, yes, we haven't used to, uh, let's get some teal. Oh, I know, yeah, mm, teal, which teal, which teal? Darn it, yes, got, got it. Yes, yeah, it's quite soft, this one, isn't it? So, um. Yeah, I think we'll stick with the soft cover. We've got all the uh, drama and intrigue going on in that one. Whoop, whoop. And now let's... Oh, I, can't get the... I can't get the lid off. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't get the lid off, man. Yes, I can. The lid's coming off. Happy days. Right, let's get that into there. Well, that's quite thick. Crikey. <laughs> there you go, Lily. Just for you, look, you see? Dreams can come true. Right, let's give that a little mix. We're going to get that splashed about. Now I can actually mix it with the gold, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. And then, probably nothing. If it doesn't look very good... Oh no, hang on. What did I do there? Sorry, just messed up. Just going to try that again. Sorry. Bear with me, bear with me. <sighs> again there, guys. Hang on a second. Let me just get the... Just get this water down a little bit. Right, okay, that's interesting. So, uh, two seconds. I am getting there, I promise. 
Right, just talk about Oh, why is this why is the thing not working? Come on, spray it, spray it. Right, so I'm just doing a little zoom in while I try and get my spray thing to work. There we go. Right then, this is gonna be for you a bit. Right, let's just get that moved around a little bit. Okay, because we need that a little bit more pliable. So, Splash Week is going to bow out with a crescendo of awesomeness. Oh, in fact, I've just seen something on the other side I need to do. Right, I'm going to do I don't know how far this is going to go, but let's give this a little whiz-bang, see what happens. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. A little drop of teal. Happy days. Let's get that out of there. That's the direction I think I'm going to go in. Lovely. It's all over me, but I just don't care. Let's get that up onto there. Right, what else have we got? So I did have a bit of an odd little mix of gold here. So we're going to get that on as well. So let's do a kind of uh, big reverse sweep. Are we ready? No. Woo! Okay, wasn't expecting that. Right, well that's thrown the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> okay, wasn't expecting that. Um... <laughs> Suarez blue, silver. Let, let, let's have a whiz with the silver, eh? Let's get some of that on. Okay, this is quite interesting. It, it just looks brown. Right, let's do something about that. So, let's get a little drop of silver on around there. Let's, let's get rid of that. And, <clears throat> see, things, things don't always work out. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Ghost, ghost this with a drop of thinners. Okay. Now we're getting the purple out. Now I am going to get my duel. I just need to do something here. Oh, should we get our fingers? Should, let's get the fingers in. Look, can we have a look at this, mate? I'm going to get the fingers in. Ready? Okay. Splash that bad boy out of the way. There we go. I just need to do something there because it's looking a bit odd. That will sort itself out now. Happy days. How many of the whites disappeared in there? Marvellous. Right, okay, yes, it might need some Suarez Blue, but let's see what we can do here. Um, 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 what do I leave that? Oh, it's one of those tricky ones, isn't it? One of those tricky ones. Right, I'm just going to tease. Ah, oh, Kelly Karashok is here, you're late, back of the class. How oh, very dare you. Back Shock of the class, me. Kelly. Right, so Not really, you're always welcome here. <laughs> so all we're doing is just giving this a little bit of a tease here and there. Because that, that last one didn't go too well, I want to sort of quite, just sort of uh, make a few shapes out of this. Bust some shapes, let's do it. So I'm just using the corner of my squeegee and I might just tease out a little drop of gold in just a moment but I just want to form some shapes because I know what's going to happen to this okay so we're just it's almost a little bit like a, a nice little flower that so I tell you what we're going to do we need a tiny bit of depth in the center did I hear someone mention Suarez blue I did didn't I right okay we, 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 we're going to drop we're going to drop a little drop of that in the middle drop a little drop what else do we do with a drop okay Let's get that in the centre. It's, it's, it's a soup song. It's nothing too horrendous. We just need to get something in there. That's going to find its own level now. Ooh, this is a bit like a flower. Okay. So we'll have a little look on chest cam just for a moment. How different all this looks now. It's very, very liquid. Let me, uh, let me go down there so you can have a little look. Crazy the gold it really is. So we're getting a lot of these forms starting to come out now, which is really quite interesting. So do you know what? I'm just going to take some of that yucky brown, which is actually a really nice colour, and I'm going to pop a little bit in here. In fact, let's splash it. That's what it is. We did say it's Splash Week. So let's... Oh, here we go. Here we go with the last splash. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Let's just get it on, Ed. Right. Okay. That's going in the bin. We're going to tease that round a little bit. So let's, uh, let's pull out some of the components. Okay, so let's go that way a little bit. Maybe we'll go that way too. Okay, now the blue's starting to find a, a sort of level. 
Lovely. Okay, so I'm just using the tip. Yeah. Around we go, just to pull it out some of these forms, save it from being too organic. Ah, Richard says it looks like a tri tri trilobite. trilobite. Very good. Right, I think, oh yeah, it's quite nice with the blue there. Les Knight says it's a jellyfish. Lily, Lily likes it as a passion flower. Very nice. Okay, let's do one that way. I mean, I could, I could keep... Accidental Regalia. What a great title for me and Holmes. He strikes again. Thank you, sir. Right, so we're just... We're just moving it to different kind. Again, it's a different kind of splash. Now look at the different patterns we're making now. To be honest, I'd probably have to do this most of the night, which I haven't got most of the night to do it in. But suddenly, it would be nice to go home at some point. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just... A really, actually, that's got quite an interesting vibe to it now. Very interesting, that. Very interesting indeed. Okay. So, um, yeah. So AD's going to have a little look at all the intricate little fronds and sort of flowery bits that are on that. But you know what? I can't recollect ever having done anything like this before. So I'm rather pleased by that. So we've broken some new ground tonight. Two very, very interesting and different paintings. Yes, I'm taking that as a win. Definitely. Right then. Okay, guys, who have we got still on Facebook? You're still there in your masses. Fantastic. Terj Nunsden. 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 Sorry. I'm terrible at names. I'm so sorry. Um, he's watching. Anyway, thank you very much for that. That's very nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, Natalie, hello to all. Just, I like it better on YouTube. Fantastic. Okay. Well, it's great to have you on both platforms, Natalie. Thank you. So we got jellyfish, tr trilobites, uh, happy accidents. Yeah, well, it, it was, I suppose, wasn't it, really? Yeah, we've made the best out of it. Uh, yeah, Bob. Um, okay. Yeah, they're birds now. In the immortal words of Bob Ross, yes, they're birds now. <laughs> Oh, I'm liking this. This is very nice. So I'm going to be reluctant to really any more to that because then I'm going to start to lose some of these uh, these purple forms. So I think I'm, I'm on the verge of just having to say, no, enough is enough. But I rather like that. Who's in Tasmania? Temple of Balance. Good morning from Tasmania, 5.30 a.m. My word, you've got a... You're, you're committed. Thank you for joining us. Sadly, we're almost at the end, so you'll have to watch the replay. Because naturally, you have to find out how we did that bad boy over there. Right, what did Richard Wills just say? Run over Easter Bunny. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? Hey, get to the, you're in detention, Richard. I tell you, your behaviour like that. Right, okay, guys. I'm super happy with what we've done here this evening. Look, look at what we've done. We have got, on the left-hand side, we did that earlier, earlier on in the evening. We had splashes and they've delineated and now we had lines and now they've gone. And then we had cells and everything changed and we had fun doing it. Look at all those wonderful, fabulous colours developing. Oh Lord. And then we moved on to the second one. And it went wrong with the brownie pink colour, didn't it? Oh my word, what happened? But then Lily of Norway decided we were going to do teal and we popped a bit of that in and then we spread it around. And then we got these gorgeous flows and these subtle kind of very cool kind of, um, yeah, I don't know, subtle kind of movement in with each other. And then we had jellyfish and we had flowers and we got all sorts of things. Two very, very different paintings, guys. Wowzers. I hope you've enjoyed that because I've enjoyed it immensely. Have we enjoyed that, everybody? I think that's been quite a different night, hasn't it? Two really individual and highly successful paintings I'm super happy with. Okay, one final little look. Where are we? So, uh, great live stream from Joseph. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Spin Art Trapeze uh, liked the way I saved it, which is great. Few. Uh, Hilda Iron Lichtenbergen is watching. I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you so much for joining us. Sadly, we're almost on the way out now. <laughs> catch the replay, don't worry. You can catch the replay. Remember, guys, give us plenty of hearts and thumbs up if you've really enjoyed the stream. And remember, if you are new here, specifically YouTube, then remember to give us a subscribe, turn your notifications on, that's your bell icon. You'll never, ever miss a thing. We've got some super amazing things to come, so you won't be disappointed. And of course, remember, we're going to do this again next week at 7.30 UK time. 
can't wait for it. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it. Hit the likes, hit the subscribes. Let's see some love for us here, okay? Right. Right, so at the moment we've got 36 likes and 60 people watching. So come on if you haven't hit the like. Hit that thumbs up. Show us a bit of love, okay guys? Right, well, I think this has been... This has been... Yeah, so I think this... Sorry, Eddie was just saying something. Yeah, this has been amazing, hasn't it? Guys, remember, okay, we've got a ton of wonderful merchandise on Teespring. So we are going to have a look at the masks now. We've put 10 brand new face mask designs online. They're incredible. We're going to keep adding to everything all the time, guys, because I don't think not wearing masks is going to be with us for a while. That's a double negative. You know what I mean? We're going to be wearing them for a while. Okay. Don't forget, if you'd like also a pillow, we're doing those as well in three different sizes. And they really are of fantastic quality. Just ask Nana Maya on the stream. You know, a few of you have got them now. They're fantastic. And we've also got the mugs as well. Okay, with my awesome face on it a caricature okay so there's tons of really cool things out there guys so treat yourself you deserve it okay <laughs> marvelous okay guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed tonight's live stream we can't wait to see you again next week we genuinely can't more fun more shenanigans and something completely different once more okay guys so thank you on behalf of us both this has been amazing dude have you popped the link out for everybody Guys, we're just going to pop the link out to the merch shop so you can know where to find it. Obviously, that would be quite helpful. And uh, we'll just say one final cheerio and thank you to everybody. Jamie Jackson says the art's amazing. Thank you so much, Jamie. I really appreciate it. Nana Mayo just said, yes, the pillows are fantastic. <laughs> right in the nick of time, Nana. Thank you very much. Uh, Denise, thank you very much. Oh, there's the, there's the link. Look. Uh, Ian Holmes, uh, Lilia Norway, it's so great that you joined us this evening, so thank you very much. Uh, Zane's been watching us, fantastic. Love the second painting, looks like hibiscus. Ooh, I like it, of course, yes. So, guys, wherever you are, whoever you're with and whatever you're doing, have a very safe and productive week. We look forward to seeing you this time in seven days' time. On behalf of Adi and myself, thank you so much for watching. We're going to bid you a warm, fond farewell. And see you again next time from Suarez HQ. We are out of here.